The information yeah, I want know. to give to Honorable Akol is still related to the same matter of APA, Madam Speaker. Thank you so much, Honorable Speaker. My name is Ruta Joffrey, a member of parliament representing Kakuto constituency. I rise to make my maiden speech, in which I equally raise a matter of national importance that affects a lot of people from my area. The matter I'm raising, Madam Speaker, is about a dangerous road known as Chapa Kasensero. Chapa Kasensero is a 41 kilometer road that con connects the communities of Kasensero landing site to Chere, Mayanja, to the main road, which is Mutukula Kampala Highway. It has been in very bad state for more than 30 years. Madam Speaker, on that road is an area known as Tome. Whenever it rains heavily, Tome submerges, making that, that road impassable. Quite impossible to the extent that whoever insists to use it has to use a boat. So you can imagine people using boats on the road. It has caused a lot of poverty among the communities of Minziro, Chiere, and even Kasese landing site. Because most of the times, those people don't have access to markets to sell their agricultural products. Apart from the poverty, Madam Speaker, Chapa Kasenso Road has caused a lot of fatalities. Giving you an example, Madam Speaker, of a pregnant woman by the names of Nabu Masite Fania. Nabu was trying to access and mental care from Kalisizo Hospital. Remember, it is 77 kilometers from Kasenso landing site to, to Kalisizo. Nabu found the road impassable. She gave birth at the roadside died instantly, and even the baby did not survive. Another case, Madam Speaker, is about the chairperson of Kaiga village, Madam Nampi Jamade. She was also trying to access and mental care. Unlike a Nabuma, Nampi managed to hire a boat, but she gave birth on that boat. Remember, the boy manning the boat doesn't have the expertise to help the struggling lady. So the baby of the chairperson did not survive. So my prayer, Retona Speaker, is that I'm requesting for immediate intervention from the Ministry of Roads, good enough the mean size around, to give a Tamaka priority. This time, not Malam. A Tamaka priority to that 41 kilometer Chapaka Central Road, I beg to submit. Uh, once take note and uh, check on the road and get back to the house. King Kizi, Yona. As soon as in the second floor of Parliament, but then you get a consonga or good value with a Chapaka Central. Chapaka Central good or a fee, the Ruga Taka Central, who good or a main road, Ram Tokula. Chapaka Central feed the cabin to Banji. Ngovu deko kuta business no kwa vwa za abantu. Lufiri deka abantu wa itirivu. Mbawa de chokula vila kenga cha maina fenabu ma Stefania. Yali mbulo wa ita o kuzala nga agenda kalisi o kuzala. Nabulo wa ita na azalira kukubo na afira o. Mwana chia paso ni waka igwa. Na ampijia made. Na hii azalira kuliato. Nga mamundu sali kuliato na azalira kuliato. Ilo wedi ato nga ya muyamba ya mbilo mwana na abafako. Abantu wa lava zali doko wa iti rivu wa nubwa wa nantongo anjira na ya zali ya kuliato. Walu omu hami sentongo yomu anu ya mzali de mkazu ya badai na balongo. Mwanu omu ya mzali de chebe oku bidi ya mzali de kakuto. Ngawe kakuta fude. Luku bantu lukudo wa de tebiti kako. So ntade wa mbela nti njaka kusaba mini sawe ngudo. Ayingide wo. Ba ingide wo batukoli lukudo wo. Gudoriko business in any new banana in Yanja. Ne revenue ne in your office. Yes, revenue in our office, but officers give a little solosa. 
Boba ine moto kinene so kutambula abantu bafibonga bafira yo mm, esebo Our gallant sons and the daughters who are flying our flag and earning gold, silver and bronze. Madam Speaker, as Parliament, the best tribute we could pay to them is uh, through your chair and indulgence to prevail over government to fast track a construction of the high altitude training center in Kaptorwa, in Iteriet. It has taken donkey years, lots of money have been actually disbursed to construct that training facility. But uh, even uh, the quality of uh, the buildings that are being constructed are being co compromised because of corruption. So it would require a directive, Madam Speaker, that you prevail over government to construct this facility of a track its construction because it has taken too long. At least it should be complete by now. The one of us who has got a gold medal. Well, no speaker, last year, I think last week I raised the matter on Sech Toreko was arrested and they had gone to Japan. And you directed that the Minister of Internal Affairs comes here to explain why he kept this young man over 48 hours in detention after he was deported. And with all the good news you have given us, we've not got the information, any statement from the Minister of Internal Affairs. And today I'm seeing, right now, Speaker, the first bench being a house of its own is very empty. I don't know whether he's coming. Yet I've just had the President on radio saying that we should be keeping in the constituencies all the time. Members of Parliament, we are not meant to be. In, we are meant to be in the constituencies when you give us time to go there. But most of our work is here. So we don't be procedural, okay, right now, Speaker, that we know when the Minister of Internal Affairs will come in to explain why Sechtori Kou was detained beyond 48 hours, and we are seeing him on TV crying every day, getting a lot of gifts and a lot of field which has failed to, to, to start off or be completed, but also in football. In the last two years, the Minister of Sports has been coming here telling us how they are going to upgrade stadiums in the five regions of this country. One in Imbarara, another in Masaka, Arua, and another in Mbale. But of late, I'm only see, we are only seeing one stadium being upgraded that is in Arua, and some people there, they are saying it is a private stadium which was constructed using their own money, not government money. So when the minister comes here to explain on the progress of the Terriet uh, Athletic Center, he should also be in a know and inform us about the progress of those stadiums that they promised, because today we are very happy about how the, our athletics are doing so hard and we are, are succeeding in Tokyo. But next time you will hear about how football is failing, yet it will be because of the lack of these playing facilities all over the country. So that is the information I wanted to give Honorable Lanya. ...created that the President has said MPs should only be in constituency. Right, Honorable Speaker, the President while communicating the legislative agenda of government 2021-2022 to the Prime Minister, wrote to the Prime Minister that it is very important that as much as MPs do work in Parliament, they should also spare time to go and look at government projects in their constituencies. And right on, our Prime Minister, this is in line I am, I am a guided. speaker, not a prime minister. Oh, sorry, sorry, right honourable. Lucky enough, you're right honourable. So, right honourable speaker, lucky enough, this is in line with what you also guided that next week. So, the president is concerned that, for example, as you have sent us to the constituencies next week, some of us will remain in Kampara. We don't even go to oversee such a project. So that was the issue which the President was raising. On the issue of sectorico, right on our speaker, I don't know why maybe my colleague 
wanted Sekito Reko to remain in prison so that he gets what to say here. Sekito Reko was released. And, right on our speakers you directed, the Minister for Internal Affairs will be coming as long as uh, you give him space on the order paper, he will be coming to make a statement. I'll, that I'll give concerned. the Minister space tomorrow to give this House a report on Sekito Reko. Thank you, right on you. And, um, we need